My name's Raj and I'm a volunteer here at Sadhana Forest India. I'm responsible for the maintenance of our compost toilets. We use a dry compost system which means that we keep our pee and poo separate. The way it works is very simple. There's one barrel where we poo and after this we cover the poo with a few cups of sawdust to support aerobic processing to absorb liquids and to reduce the smell. The urine is collected in a pan and then deposited into a container. Urine naturally turns into ammonia if it's stored, so we collect the urine and after this process is complete, we use the ammonia to clean our toilets. The black water, water which has been used to wash one's bum, needs to be treated in a separate system. The system we have installed here is made up of a concrete slab, a tank and a pump. The black water is pumped onto the slab from the black water tank. Algae grows on the slab and by passing through this algae, the water is treated and deposited back into the tank. After five to six cycles, the water is safe for garden use. A major advantage of a dry composting system is the low usage of water. A standard toilet uses about 10 litres of water per flush. So in a community like this, where we have on average 60 volunteers staying here every day, we save approximately 150,000 litres of water per year, which is a huge contribution to our water conservation efforts. My daily job is to maintain the hygiene of the toilets. For each barrel that is in use, I stir the dry compost for two minutes to aid the aerobic process that is taking place. I use the ammonia that has been created from our urine on site and vinegar, which is a natural disinfectant, and mix these with water to create a cleaning solution that I use to sanitise the toilet. A problem with conventional sewage systems is that there's no control over what kinds of waste are deposited into them, so industrial cleaning agents are mixed together with bio-waste. A few decades ago, it seemed trivial to throw all of your rubbish into one bin and hope that your local authority might separate it later. Now we understand that it makes far more sense to keep your rubbish separate in the first place. In many countries, recycling is now compulsory. Here at Southern Forest, we try to use the same principles of waste management and extend them to our human waste. We deal with all of our waste on site. Waste is often viewed as the output of a linear process, but from an ecological standpoint, it's just as important a component of the cycle as food. Most of the world doesn't use flush toilets and waste management isn't a high priority in many less economically developed countries. The system we have in place is very easy to replicate. Recently, we were approached by someone who had visited Southern Forest and wanted to install a similar system at a local festival. Once a barrel is full, we remove it, cover it, and store it to decompose for four weeks. Once these four weeks have passed, the soon-to-be human year is safe to be transported to the compost pile, which is covered to support further decomposition. After six to 12 months, the human manure is ready to be used for planting and fertilizing.